from Canada, baby. Come on. Are you taking the... How am I going to get into that? Maximum wrapping, please. What? Oh, I love you, Bear. Hey. I love those dogs. Hi, Ben. How the devil are you, mate? Sandy and Connor here. Connor wanted to send you this Jason Funko Pop to be... Uh, to go alongside the Freddy one that, um, hang on, Jason, have I got? Ah, oh, I haven't got Jason. The Jason was his beloved dad's who he'd lost cancer and is abs uh, he absolutely adores you. You have helped bring so much laughter and joy to him, which has helped so much in his grieving journey. So, so we both want to thank you for that. We love you so much and we are grateful to uh, have you in our lives. Keep Rambo in it. We comment that we think that you are batshit crazy. <laughs> well, we wouldn't want you to be any other way. Loads of love. Fans forever. Sandy and Connor, mate. Oh, look at yeah. I'm so sorry about your loss. I don't think I could get into this. You've, you, you've duct taped the whole lot. Mate. <laughs> I can't get into it. <laughs> mate, I literally can't get into it. I can't get into it. I'm gonna have to open it up another time. I, I, <laughs> I have to open it up another time, mate. I can't. What? You've duct taped the. I can't get into it. <laughs> Maximum handwriting, please. Are you sure when I open this, it's not gonna be a potato or something? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you, mate? Today we're looking at a channel, a freaky deaky channel. All right, you've heard of them. Goose pimples. Make sure you go for their channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Okay? This one is called Top 10 Scary Videos That Can't Show on TV, otherwise known as television. Without further ado, dar diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, Number Goose Pimples. 10, under lock and key. And key. Exploring haunted buildings at stupid o'clock can be an exciting idea for Halloween. Mm. That is, until the paranormal come out to play, as these guys would soon experience firsthand. Okay. Built in 1870, with prisoners violently forced to mine the rocks for the walls, the old Idaho penitentiary soon became overcrowded, with extreme temperatures and a lack of proper plumbing or ventilation. Hundreds of souls perished behind the very walls they built, succumbing to a gruesome combination of old age illness and murder. murder with all the inhuman conditions oh. over 30,000 inmates had to endure throughout the decades it comes as no surprise that the prison has been known for paranormal activity and accounts of strange sounds voices and dark entities mm, on another level of course, mate josh fletch and a group of friends discarded all the warning signs and had to sneak inside in the dead of night but their spooky outing soon turned into a high-speed chase when Josh decided to be a rebel and climb to a forbidden area. And according to his own words, he got just what he deserved. Oh, take okay. a look. Yeah, I will take a look, mate. I, uh, well, how, did, how did he get up there then? Uh, no, I know he climbed, but how would, how would they normally get up there? It must be a, a lift or is that the... Okay, so they must have, that must be a stairs through there. I have climbed up because there's no stairs. Oh, there's going to be somebody behind there, isn't there? It's going to be behind there. Ah! <laughs> I, 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 I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Bet I didn't you missed see it. it, didn't you? Yeah. In the last cell, before Josh screams bloody murder, there's the shadow of a muscular oh! bill. Oh, yes. Look at you, eh? Look at you. Lurking behind bars. Could it be the spirit of Raymond Allen Snowden? I don't know, mate. He doesn't look that muscular. Notorious inmate known as Idaho's Jack the Ripper. He was convicted of cold-blooded murder in 1956 and sentenced to death by hanging at the Notorious Penitentiary. Notorious. The terror lingered until the very end as the trap door snapped open, but the noose only choked him, not ending his life quickly, as you can imagine. Mm. He hung there, gasping for breath for a full 15 minutes. 15 minutes, mate! 
hang in there for 15 minutes. That must be the longest 15 minutes of your bloody life, mate. Literally. Before finally succumbing to suffocation in a slow, torturous oh. death. Whether it was the spirit of this notorious inmate or not, these guys were not sticking around to find out. I would, I, mate, I would have ramboed it. I would have got a cup and gone, hey, you little bastard, eh? How's it going in there? You know? Just throw the water or whatever all over his face. Because I rambo shit. Number nine, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Alex is something of a master at expiration. And how could he ignore the opportunity to take a tour of an abandoned nun's convent? Mm. After walking and- Oh, mate, imagine going in there. But before you do, you watch- the horror film, The Nun. <laughs> Hearing strange, echoing laughter through the long hallways, Alex realizes his camera is nearly out of juice, so he heads back home. But when he watched the footage back, he spotted something that sent a deep sense of dread scuttling up his throat. Ooh. Watch. Nanny, nanny, nan, nan. Look at you. Take a good, long look at the open doorway in this replay. Look, Someone look at you, mate. Look at you with your bloody hoodie on, eh? It's standing there. The silhouette also looks suspiciously veiled, which is incredibly spooky when you remember the video. Oh. Mate, it's a shame we can't see a face. Was captured in a convent. Perhaps someone wasn't quite ready to pass on just yet. Mm. Let's hope she didn't latch onto Alex as he left. Number eight. Number we eight. have company. No manner of years watching those spooky backroom videos could have prepared you for this next clip. This guy had a job searching for a leak around an urgent care center that had been abandoned a few months prior. He had no idea why everyone left so suddenly. That is, until he delved further into the building and heard some things that made him feel as though he wasn't the only one tiptoeing around. Mm. Let's watch. Another bathroom. Oh, did you hear that, mate? I see you. I see dead people, mate. Listen! Another bathroom. But as a ghost, why would you say, I see you? You know? Unless, unless when you're a, okay, so hear me out. When you're a ghost, you might see the living as if they were ghosts, so but it, it it's it's quite rare because we're on a different plane you see so if you're a ghost you can't see the living because you're on a different plane but w when you do see them you're like oh, i see you i see you you know so maybe that's what it is we can't see them very much very well because we're on a different plane and they can't see us it's like again that film bloody with uh, what's her face tom cruise's ex misses yeah Whatever it is, mate. The others? I think it's the others. Bloody good film. Um. Uh, this is a second uh, two-story building. This used to be the elevator shaft right here. You said shaft. I guess we're taking the stairs. I guess. Meditation class used to be upstairs. Had to put your shoes in this little cubby. Oh, right to him, mate! Right belly to him, run! The footage cut abruptly as he tried to compose himself after hearing someone or something bolting down. Been seeing loads of these running downstairs and shit now, running upstairs videos lately. It's almost like the ghosts have just gone, hey, all right, Steve. Yeah, listen, mate, I know you've not not been dead for that long, okay? Um, but 
me and my mates, we've been doing this thing on these, uh, these living. Just when somebody goes upstairs, just run upstairs. Yeah, it's bloody. Watch their faces, mate. Do it. All right, see you later. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you. Bye bye. Down the stairs, right in front of his eyes, when clearly there was no one to be seen. Mm. He grew some balls and went upstairs to film the grew some balls. <laughs> the meditation room, but it didn't look like he no clipped into level one. <laughs> After some further investigation. <laughs> okay. After some further investigation, I can safely say it was in fact a ghost. Uh, there's no one else in this building. I've heard someone go down those <laughs> stairs though. So I guess this was the meditation room. No wonder you got bloody meditate after that shit happening to you, mate. There's a lot of natural lighting in here. I don't I probably don't need the flashlight right now. <laughs> He's fucking shitting it. It's the top of the elevator shaft. You can't <laughs> see anything down there. Mate, if you just heard a ghost running up the stairs, would you be looking over a bloody black hole to the, to death? <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't. So here's a meditation room. Kind of looks like the back rooms. I've got to look into this back room stuff, mate. I've really got. To, I'm hearing it all the time. I've seen like pictures. That's it. I got to look into it. Very cold. Send me a bloody picture. Uh, send me a, a video link to it, mate, and I'll react to it. The, the stage up here looks like a couple of altars next to him. Creepy. Okay, now I'm getting the. Out of here. Straight down that bloody elevator that was shaft, mate. Was it a bit of fancy footwork? He's doing the bloody feet of flames down there. Michael Flatley, mate. Real living nightmare. Another bathroom. Another bathroom. Another bathroom. Let us know what you think in the mm. comments section. I don't... Number seven. Here in my car. When you're. Isn't that a song? Here in my car. In cars. Here in my car. I love that tune. I bloody love that tune. It's brilliant. All right, carry on. While driving late at night for long periods, your vision can end up a little bit distorted. At least that's what this guy thought while he was cruising down a highway in Mexico. Mexico. While thinking he should have taken the advice from the don't drive when you're tired sign a couple of miles back, he saw something on the side of the road that made him do a double take. What the hell was that? Was that a deer? Someone's in a rush. It took some time to properly figure out what the hell that thing could be. But if you look closely, a dress billowing around her and it's legging it. He couldn't figure out if he had actually seen It's that. a fucking deer, mate! Or if his eyes were deluding him. Could this be somebody taking a shortcut on their walk back from a night out? Or something a little more sinister? That's a fucking deer, isn't it? Or something? Sir. Mate, that's a deer or something. I'm sure that's an animal, right? I mean, I'd be pretty pissed off if I went for a nightclub and, and, and walked home and I was all of a sudden a fucking deer. I'd be pretty pissed off, mate. Number six, Number run six. for the hills. These girls found out the hard way that those old urban legends are more terrifying than you could ever imagine. Mm. They decided to pay a nightly visit to their old, abandoned and supposedly haunted school to see if the legend was true. Apparently, if you knock on the nurse's door, something will knock back. But they didn't get a knock back. They got something much worse. Go. Go. Just knock on it, knock. Knock, 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 knock in on it. All right, shh. Knock harder. Let them know. Knock it! Let them. Oh! A woman can be heard screaming the words, get out, from the other side of the door. 
whether paranormal or not, one thing That is freaky as shit, mate. I remember when I was a kid, okay, I used to live in this little um, village and there was this huge house, a really old house. And every time I walked past it, it was like at the beginning, at the, at the front of the house was a huge gate. It was all cordoned off by this wall and big bushes. A huge gate there, all right? It pro- looked proper haunted, mate, this house. Probably st- st- properly stereotypical, you know? And every time I walked past it, I would shit myself and run past it, especially at night, you know, when we used to be walking around the village. And there was a little old lady that lived in there. And then one day I saw her and I was walking with my sister. And she was like, fuck, a hundred meters in f- down the road, walking with a little walking stick. And I said to my sister, Louise, that's the witch. Whispered it, whispered it, mate. And she turned around and she went, I'm not a witch. Oh, mate, I shit myself. <laughs> shit myself, mate. For sure, we'll never see any of these girls outside after bedtime again. Number five, one of us is lying. The dark can lead your mind to some truly spooky places, especially when you're traipsing around a pitch black barren corridor in search of poltergeist activity. Mm. These guys were just trying to explore an urban area for a video, but among the cool graffiti and crumbling walls, something else seemed to make itself at home there. Something nobody can explain. Okay. Take a look. Let's have a look. I'll explain it, mate. I'll ramble it. Oh shit, mate. Yes, I've seen this. This is weird as hell. And I'll be honest with you, mate. I can't explain it. There is some kind of transparent figure rising from the floor. The group decided not to try their luck by sticking around and go bolting out of there. But as their feet slammed against concrete... Like, what is that, mate? There was something else lurking within their group. Bet you missed it at first, but let's slow it down. Oh, what the fuck was that? What the hell is that, mate? I hadn't seen this bit. Oh, shit. Mate, I haven't seen that bit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, fucking hell! That's one creepy face. If I, I think she's quite pretty, actually. If you're thinking rationally, you could say it's just a blurry shot of one of the women in the group. But there were no women. There was the no group. women in there, mate! Group. So who the hell was that? Oh! Number four. Hell no! Portals. There are so many stories about bad experiences with Ouija boards out there, yet somehow people keep playing with them. Catalin got one from Amazon out of sheer curiosity. She already knew the board was bad news, but she never expected the terrifying experiences she was about to go through at night when she was the oh. only one home. Watch. Jesus, mate, that's a loud flush. Oh, you fucking kidding me? Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Mate, I'm telling you, if that was legit, you could sue Amazon for that, mate. You could say, what the hell did you sell me, you bastard? (laughs) 
We've got orbs and shit. Ooh, mate, did I see a shadow bastard there? Oh, oh! Look! Oh, mate, if this has got white eyes. Oh, no, no. Why did ghosts always stamp so fucking hard? You know? What's that you got in your hand? Is that a stick? Is that a, like a duster? Is that a feather duster or something you got in your hand? Get up there, girl, and rambo it. What the hell were those sounds at the bottom of the stairs? And how did the knocking change from one door to another so fast? Unless she had about five friends hiding off camera, there's something seriously spooky living in that flat. Mate, I would be so annoyed. I would be so pissed off if I bought a Ouija board and started playing around with it and that shit happened. I would be so annoyed. Wouldn't you, eh? So annoyed. She also explained that her friends wanted to take the board to an abandoned building, but when she went to grab it, it had vanished out the back of her wardrobe. What? Putting it out of sight and mind for a year and a half and not connecting the scary experiences with the board, she kind of forgot it existed. But while she was moving out of her old apartment, she found it again, completely spotless while everything surrounding it was covered in dust. No! Spooky, isn't it? <sighs> Number three. Number Fat three. Man. If you've been watching us for a while, you'll be well versed into the terrifying reality of caving. Oh, mate, I tell you, like, uh, mate, I, I Rambo 99.999% of things, okay? Right? I ain't doing that shit. I'm not doing caving. No. No, not for all the money and health and wisdom in the world. No, not going to do it. We have featured a few videos no. of claustrophobic caves. I'm not really claustrophobic. I could be in small spaces. It's fine. But that, mate, I just worry about not being able to move and getting stuck there and just wasting away. That would be absolutely horrible. Cave expeditions that would strike fear into the hearts of even the bravest person. But sometimes, the scariest thing isn't the impossibly narrow passageways. It's the fact that somebody might have found that part of the dark cave before you. Look at the, look at the sheer panic and worry in his face, mate. What are you doing? Just go home and play some chess or something. Well, there's other things. While on a hike with his dog, this guy decided to investigate the seemingly isolated stone walls. After spotting some bugs and some bats flying Ooh, around, like he bats. stepped further into the cave until he spotted something that sent a chill down his spine. Oh, I think I've seen this one. Look at this, mate. Still behind me. This is like Betty. That game, Blair Witch. I know it's a film, but there's also a game with the dog. Yeah, I, 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 I think I've seen this one. What the fuck is that? Oh, hang on, have I? Oh, I have! I have! Oh, Look shit. at you! Go, 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 go. Come on, mate! Imagine seeing that. Don't worry, they'll enhance it in a minute. You'll see. Holy hell balls, man. It's blurry, but if you look closely and turn the brightness up, 
you can see what looks like a person draped in a bl It's blatantly a person. Black it's blatantly. Collar. Luckily, the guy and his dog managed to get themselves out of there. Apparently, the police were called and shown that video, but nothing has come from it just yet. What do you think this was? A paranormal entity? A cult? Or something else? I don't know. Let us know in the comment section. Mate, that's freaky as shit. Was that the door? Was that the door? Boards just turned up. Number two, Breaking. Number Which is scarier, a poltergeist roaming free in your house mm. or a possible break-in? Hmm. None. I'd rather both. Probably the latter, which is why the lady in this next clip called the police to her property after she went shopping and returned to an open door. The police went in to investigate, expecting someone trying their luck at a burglary, but what they actually found left them trembling. Take a look. Does anyone live in the house? Yes, um, my husband, myself, and our two kids. Wait, you know this isn't fake now, mate. They got the 5 0 out there, which means police. But they're out of town right now, they're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. All right, uh, we're gonna have to go and search the house. Is it okay if we go in? Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have any like pets or dogs or anything? No, no. Right. Just stay here, man. Like, wake up the whole neighborhood with those lights, mate. Police! Five oh, get down, get the fuck down! Man. Anyone inside? Oh, mate. Camera clip, mate. We got some shit going on in this place. Police! Anyone inside? Make yourself known. Oh my god, mate. Oh my god. This is legit. This is totally legit, mate. Look at hello. Good afternoon. Look, his, 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 his breathing's going, his breathing's going. This footage was released after the officers claimed the house was haunted. And boy, can we see why. Oh, mate. Look, these police officers ramble in it, though, mate, to be fair. Good, good, good stuff, man. Oh, look again. Oh, my God. Some commenters seem a bit skeptical of this video, asking why the lights weren't turned on and why there were no clothes in the closets. But there are explanations for this. The home is used as an Airbnb quite a lot and the children, father and pets were out of town that day. So most of the stuff wasn't there at the time of filming. Downstairs, players. Mate, I bet you this house now is booked until 2026, mate, with all the paranormal activity people wanting to go in there and like just do B and B's. What the fuck? What the fuck? Listen. Filming that day, so most of the stuff wasn't there at the time of filming. Downstairs, players.
What is that noise? Oh shit, mate! That, that you have just fucking shit yourself all over the all over the place with that the bloody alarm. Oh, it's the creaky stairs. Upstairs clear. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. And the officers left the lights off because the changing lighting would leave their eyes to adjust for a few seconds, which would make them more susceptible to an attack. But no one seemed to be talking about the fact that so many doors seemed to open yeah. on their own, with nothing behind them. And nobody has really mentioned the figure you can barely make out standing in the doorway to the bedroom when the officer is backing off down the stairs. What do you think this is? Oh, a break-in that ended with a quick getaway or something a little more paranormal? Oh, mate, that was good, man. That's the sort of footage I like. You don't always have to see things and, and hear things, you know? It's stuff like that that make me question it all, man. Especially legit when you get the 5 all out there. Let us know your thoughts. Mm. Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification for all our new scary compilations. Number 1. Number Tunnel one. Vision Tunnels tend to trigger claustrophobia and paranoia in quite a few people. You can blame horror movies for that. But for some reason, this guy didn't get the memo and thought it would be a great idea to investigate a strange noise emanating out of the cylinder. He didn't spend too long in there though, because something was waiting for him. If you don't believe in skinwalkers, maybe you will after this. Take a look. Mate. No way. <laughs> okay? No way, baby. Fucking predator down there, mate. What the hell? Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Oh, are you what are you doing, Silka? Oh! Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate! What kind of creature was that? Turn around and record it, mate! Bloody hell, we go viral! Newspapers, the news, everything, mate! Be bloody millionaire! It definitely wasn't an animal, but it also doesn't look human. What the shit? Look at your arms, mate! Look at your bloody arms! Well, there you go, mate. That was Goose Pimples, mate. Some of those were absolutely epic. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked it. If you did like it, please like the video and subscribe because it's free. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.